Well, now it's a big welcome from San Francisco to the UCD Alumni Award winner in Engineering and Architecture, Liam Madden. Welcome, Liam. Hi, Pat. Very nice to talk to you. First of all, congratulations on the award. What does it mean to you? Well, you know, I'm just incredibly honored um, to have been recognized by uh, UCD and, of course, by the department. Um, you know, I've been really lucky, I guess, in the last 10 years. I, it's been quite a while since I graduated, but I've been very lucky to have interacted uh, with UCD over the last 10 years uh, because uh, in that period, I became responsible for an engineering group in Dublin, uh, but I also was on the board of uh, Science Foundation Ireland, and so I spent more time in Ireland than I did in the previous 30 years. And I've just been in, in immensely impressed with what UCD has achieved. Um, but despite all that, I think UCD has also maintained its sense of community. So to receive this honor from uh, UCD is, is really amazing. I wonder, could you take us back to, you know, all the changes that have happened in the last 30 years? Because I'm sure the tech scene today is very, very different to when you first explored it. Yeah, I mean, um, I had to sort of cast my mind back, I think, a little bit in, in preparation for this. And, uh, you know, one of the things in my own area, uh, which is chip development, um, you know, I started in the U.S. in, in 1981. Um, and at that time, you know, we were building chips that had thousands of transistors on them, probably, you know, maybe 10,000 transistors. The most recent product that I worked on uh, here at Xilinx had uh, 36 billion transistors, that's a billion with a B. Um, so you can imagine over that period, we've just seen uh, amazing changes. Um, but what I would say is that uh, the fundamentals of engineering haven't changed. And the things that I learned, uh, you know, back in the 70s, uh, you know, some of them are still very relevant to what I do today. So the principles remain the same, but the realization is obviously much more, more complex. Um, what was it like in the engineering department in UCD in those days? I mean, did you have the kind of equipment that you needed or did you have to beg, borrow and steal? Yeah, you know, um, so the first thing is, I think, as you probably remember yourself, um, at that point, uh, most of our time was spent in Marion Street. Um, you know, we spent our first year in Belfield where we would have been uh, mainly, I think, in the science building there, uh, which of course has changed radically since those days. Uh, but most of our time was spent uh, in Marion Street. And yeah, I would say uh, sometimes we had to cobble things together, but uh, you know, it was amazing uh, what the faculty were capable of in, in those days. My, uh, my own mentor, Jim Lacey, I know at the time was building electric cars in the basement at, uh, at that time. So you know, it, was a, it was a really just interesting and, and it was an exciting time as well. So when you went to the United States, um, did you feel well equipped from your experience in UCD to embark on science there? Yeah, you know, I mean, um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, it, uh, it was new for me. But, uh, you know, when I thought about it, um, you know, really the thing that UCD taught me was, was sort of how to learn. Um, and I think that's probably one of the most important things that it that a university does for you. And so as a result of that, um, you know, I had to pick up quite a lot on the job. Um, I also went back to graduate school, actually a little bit later, not immediately. Um, I attended graduate school in Cornell uh, in upstate New York. And uh, what I found was, again, the fundamentals I learned with uh, UCD stood by me, even though a lot of the, the technology that I was learning about was, was very advanced at that time. Mm. Um, is there any particular thing in your career in chip development that you're most proud of? You know, it's sort of funny when you say that. I, I look back on the projects that I've worked on and uh, believe it or not, uh, some of them are actually now in the Computer History Museum here in, uh, in San Jose. So uh, things age very quickly in, in my business. You know, the, the main thing that I think about um, and that I'm most proud of is some of the people that I've mentored uh, in that period of time. Um, you know, uh, if you have an iPhone or have had an iPhone, uh, the application processor in that product has been designed and managed by uh, someone I mentored uh, for the last, uh, you know, 12 years, he's been responsible for that. So, you know, being involved with, uh, you know, really bright engineers has been the main thing that I remember. And uh, it's probably one of the things that I still get a uh, huge satisfaction of it. Hmm. Now, what do you say to those students of engineering here in UCD who may think, oh, everything's been invented already, what is there left for me to do? What would you say to them? 
Um, you know, it's only just begun. Uh, you know, really, if you look at the advances that we've seen uh, in the last number of years, I mean, you know, artificial intelligence alone, machine learning, has revolutionized how every almost every job is done. Um, you know, but that technology was really only uh, productized back in 2012. So, you know, really, um, you know, it's all ahead of you. What I would say is, uh, you know, be open to learning a lot of new things. Uh, but also, you know, as I said, again, the fundamentals are really important that will stand by you uh, for the length of your career. And finally, I suppose you might contrast the opportunities in Silicon Valley versus the opportunities in Silicon Docks here in Dublin. Yeah, I mean, you know, the one thing I will say is, uh, you know, sometimes people misunderstand, I think, uh, you know, U.S. multinationals in terms of why they go to countries. Uh, they, they often talk, I think, and it's probably very topical at the moment about the tax benefits. In reality, the thing that uh, multinationals are looking for is talent. And really, uh, they will go wherever the talent is. And Ireland at the moment has some of the best talent in the world. So, uh, you know, I have no worries about Ireland for the future. And I think, uh, you know, Silicon Docs can give Silicon Valley a run for its money. Lee Madden, congratulations once again. And thank you very much for joining us from San Francisco. Thanks very much, Pat.